The Faculty of Medicine is truly honored and privileged to have Norman Bethune as one of our most prestigious alumni. His career really exemplified a profound contribution to medicine generally, but very importantly, his contributions in the war effort in China during the 1930s exemplify a spirit of altruism that has permeated the culture of China. Norman Bethune's legacy was that of an internationalist. That's what Mao Zedong said in his tribute essay on Norman Bethune. And that meant that he looked beyond his own borders and he looked to China and he felt that he could help there. And where he could help was as a doctor. For the first time, somebody from the outside was able to make a major contribution to the Chinese struggle. Norman Bethune, right? We grow in the legend of him. We want to bring the innovation spirit of his spirit you know, to the science, the passion to the science, to service the people of the world. I think that's the legacy of Dr. Bethune's work, is advanced science and medicine is only productive if you advance it across the globe rather than in an isolated environment. Collaborating with China and other countries in Asia has become a priority because that's really where the growth in healthcare is happening. We have, we have to develop new drugs. We have to de develop a safe and a more effective vaccine. One cannot uh, do this all on themselves, which is why it's so important that us, for us to collaborate with uh, uh, other people in the world. So the project I'm working now with the Chinese investigator is on vaccine development. And we are hoping that uh, we will develop a, a more effective and a safe vaccine for TB. My research focus on the cardiac regeneration. I'm using the stem cell to repair the heart. I have trained more than 15 clinicians to become clinician scientists. And after training, they went back to China and they take all the knowledge they learned at the University of Toronto applied to their practice. We believe that if U of T can participate in uh, educating these uh, leading uh, students, they will go back and it will strengthen the relationship between Canada and China. China's established hundreds of new universities and recognizes that uh, pouring a large amount of money into research is ultimately going to be good not only for the economy but also for the uh, individual Chinese population. This has to be the future of medicine. I mean, translational medicine, you cannot do the future without the biggest country in the world. It's terribly important that countries work together, especially in the medical field. And I think China and Canada have a natural partnership, which was begun by Norman Bethune. Norman Bethune's legacy is something that inspires us, and I would hope will be a lasting legacy of inspiration for our faculty.